Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pub Crew. The one podcast where you can always count on us uh, already having started. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, man? Fucking great, man. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm Vic. That's Ryan. We started backwards this time. That's crazy. I don't like it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't, I just, just doesn't sound right. No. Uh, but we hope you guys have been having a good week. Um, how's your week been? But all right. Hey, that's good. Pretty chill. It's better than bad is what I always say. Better than bad. Yeah. What about Breaking Bad? Break, breaking Bad. Breaking Even. Or mm. uh, Even or Odds. Now we're just doing word Steven. association. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But as you can tell, my week's been great. Uh, you can tell because I am here. Yeah, in a good <laughs> mood. Oh. oh, is that how you can tell? And here as well. Oh. I mean, that's the main reason why I'm in a good mood. Because <laughs> I had had a hell of a day. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Have one of them fucking days, man. Mm-hmm. Dang old fucking mm-hmm. get over there, man. Yeah, you know, dang old hustle and bustle, and man. Turn around. Dang old come back. Dough, you know, you know goddamn you know, beer, beer, man. You know, be all right. I've seen everywhere, man. Dango man. You know, come back. Dango bond. Dango. Like dango, dango. Dango bond, man. Dango bond. It's like dango bond, man. You know, pew pew. Zero, Zero days. days without mentioning Star Wars on this show, <laughs> and then another one. I put another one for King of the Hill. <laughs> that was two episodes ago. What to if, be fair, that was legit talking about King of the Hill. Yeah, though. not references. Mm-hmm. Point is, we're already fucked with the day. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but, we hope you've all had a great week yeah. coming into this. Um, but yeah. Um, what are we drinking today? Is that what you were waiting you for? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you know, that's fine. You could ask me. Hey, thanks for asking, bro. Hey, you know what? We get consent here. <laughs> consent is cool and consent yeah. is key. Mm-hmm. That's the point. Mm-hmm. So, so, what are we drinking? so actually, the brew we got today is kind of special. So Ooh. one of the groups that I follow for patches and stuff and EDC stuff, everyday carry stuff, um, it's the Breakfast Club. So EDC oh. Breakfast Club. So... Uh, Brody Havel's the gentleman who runs that. Nice. Um, and he's known for making egg coins and eggs, which has Ooh. significance in the EDC. Breakfast is a big part of it. Oh, nice. That's good. So EDC Breakfast Club. So, I mean, yeah. I got a couple of coins. I got a Gundam one, and then I got this plushy kind of one. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's I took pretty pictures and posted yeah. them up. Me, put them up. Um, but this he actually did a collaboration with a brewery. I believe this oh. one's out in uh, Colorado. No way. That's amazing. Yeah. Really fucking cool. So I was able yeah. to get in on this because I was like, yeah, it sounds cool. <laughs> and it's a stout. So, of course, that's right up my alley. Hey, yeah, <laughs> that's good. You're going to like it. And the best part is, since it's all on breakfast, it's a breakfast stout. Breakfast. So that actually works really well. I was like, that's yeah. nice. Hey, yeah. So I did ask him before this uh, episode, since I got the beer and everything, I did ask him if there's anything you wanted to say about it, anything to know. Uh, his words this is a quote, uh, Woods Boss Brewing made it, which we'll go into that more on the can. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the idea is all from his mind, Brody's mind. Uh, he wanted the best breakfast out on the planet and we nailed it. Unquote. Hey. So, damn. So that's an expectation. That's a, that's a tall order. Yeah, that's an expectation and a half right there. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this. This kind of. Pretty fucking cool. There you go, sir. Oh, shook that up for you. It. That's for you. Thank you. And then just shook mine up too. So we're all on the same page here. Won't you pub crew about me? So Woods Boss Brewing, and this is their collab series, obviously. Yeah. Collaborated with uh, Brody Havel on this. Uh, it's a 9.3 ABV. Um, da, 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 da. They are based in Denver, Colorado. Let's see. What you're about to enjoy are the fruits, well, eggs, of the labors of a delightful combined effort, all the craftsmanship and care you have come to know from the beloved Woods Boss brand mixed with every ounce of imagination and creativity that Breakfast Club EDC brings to the table. The subtle notes of syrupy goodness and cold brewed coffee Mm. really bring out the rich sweetness of vanilla at the top of the flavor palette. Mixing breakfast treats and Guatemalan coffee with pure maple syrup and... Tahitian vanilla. We stumbled upon the ultimate breakfast stout. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Collaborating on it. Cheers. 
So pretty fucking cool. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. So far, the hype is there. Yeah. It's, and I'm excited I'm for very it. hype. Exactly. I was hyped when they talked about it, and I'm, I was hyped when I got it. I've been looking <laughs> forward to it since we got it, so I'm like, this is going to be pretty good. Yeah. Who is, it is a thick boy. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like, I actually can't remember the last breakfast out I've had. On the show or in general? In general. I'm pretty sure I've had a breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, on the show, it's been a minute. Yeah. But, in general. Yeah, actually. I don't know. Like, yeah. On the show, I don't think we've had a breakfast stout in a hot minute. We've had stouts, but nothing breakfast specific. Mm-hmm. I think I had a breakfast stout last week. We were out somewhere, and I was like, I don't want that. It's pretty good. Yeah, and no, I can't remember. I feel like I just I drink too many beers. Too many beers. That's the name of the show. Yeah. Hey, too many. That's uh, <laughs> that's our VH1 behind the music. Oh, yeah, too many beers. Too many beers. Too many cooks. Too many beers. <laughs> Not Cheers. enough tits. Cheers. And remember, you don't have to drink to chill with the pub crew, but it helps. But it helps. Oh, it smells good. That's actually pretty good. Mm. Oh, oh man, very coffee. Yeah, it's mo- it's it's a good good coffee mm, flavor though. Yeah. Cup of coffee, cup of coffee. <laughs> um. I actually had a cold brew today, and I can say that I like this better than the taste of the cold brew, because I usually just take mine black. Like, I I don't really... I was about to uh, say, was yeah. the cold brew, like, did it have cream sugar in it? No. Already? It was just black? Was just, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't know. I like... I don't know if it's just that I train my palate or if it's just what I enjoy, but, like, really bitter stuff, like, hits a spot that, like... I don't think like any like sweets or like anything that's like people usually crave hits, you know, like it's a very special kind of, of like taste and like, like feeling that you get in your tongue and like the roof, like everything. Yeah. Like, like some, some people don't agree. Like, uh, but Adrian, he's like a big coffee guy, but mm-hmm. he loves adding shit to his coffee. Yeah. And that, I'm not that's not saying that's bad. I'm not trying to be yeah, like, yeah, to oh, each I'm their bad. own, but I would yeah. judge you heavily. Yeah. <laughs> but to each their own. No, I, I think it's cool. Like, I love, once I find, like, a good creamer, like, that's fucking, that's, Oh, that's yeah, good. if I find a good creamer, yeah. yeah that's Usually, like, anything that's, like, peppermint mocha or, like, something that's, like, gonna be, like, a little crazy, you I, know? I hate that it's seasonal, but I love go- doing the Irish cream. Oh, that's Because otherwise, I can't find it. Yeah. It's hard to fucking find, mm-hmm. but I love me that Irish cream. It is delicious. Yeah. Um, but no, I usually go for like, when I buy my coffee, I usually go for dark roasts, which for the longest time, I think that's why I just liked, and I didn't know why I liked it until I, I had him. He actually explained to me, he goes, well, it's cause you like bitter. Mm. Those dark roasts are usually way more bitter than your medium roast, your light roast. He's yeah. like, they're not as, he's like strong's doesn't necessarily apply to like how strong that coffee is. Yeah. Because a light roast could technically be, or a medium roast could be stronger caffeine wise than yeah. a dark roast. Yeah. He goes, but when we say strong like that, it's more bitter. It's yeah. more like pungent, like mm-hmm. you're tasting coffee. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe that is probably why I like dark roast. Because that's that's why I always go for dark roast. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. And I think that's why I agree with on that. I like that I can't like like that bitterness. And then I do add creamer sometimes, but like mm-hmm. very little, like enough to just kind of change the color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You better, like, I add just enough sugar to be like, all right, this is a little sweet, you know? Like, I usually, and that's the thing is, I usually don't add um, sugar. Mm-hmm. If anything, I'll add, like, stevia. Yeah. But, well, like, and like, not, not much. A lot of a lot of creamer these days actually has, like, a very sweet taste. And exactly. That's and to me, yeah. that's more than enough. Yeah. Like, if I just put the creamer, that's already going to be the sweetness yeah. right there. I don't mm-hmm. need, like, I'll gauge it from there. Like, I'll pour a little and be like. Doesn't yeah. need it. The one thing that I I have like realized over the years that I'm like I just think I like this flavor is like hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut's like, really good. Like I just I don't know, it's fucking good. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's nutty. Yeah. It's really good. No, I agree. Mm-hmm. Hazelnut's up there for me. I I like the classic French vanilla sometimes. Oh yeah, I mean vanilla is just a good flavor. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know. That's crazy. So there's supposed to be vanilla. I'm not. I'm not gonna yeah. a too much amount of it. I'm like now that we mentioned it, I was like there's supposed yeah. to be vanilla on it, but. I can kind of smell it. Yeah. Like, but as far as palette wise, I'm getting like just 
coffee, yeah. which is good. I mean, I'm not arguing with it. That's fun. It's subtle, like the the vanilla. Yeah, but definitely like the coffee. Cup yeah, coffee no, over definitely. here. This is this is definitely what I would put in a thermos. Hell yeah, like, this is what I would mask my my uh my big sixty four ounce like uh, thermal <laughs> cup to work like with coffee that I take every day. Just kind of yeah. take this and they'll be like, "Oh, is that coffee?" Yeah, yeah it sure is. It's this new cold brew that I try. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. It's great. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna need it to get through yeah. this day. <laughs> can I have some? Oh, you man. sure cannot. <laughs> Unless you give me five dollars right now. <laughs> For real. Oh man, it's pretty good. I actually, um, definitely want to hit up Colorado for beers. Yeah, they they got some breweries we need to check out yeah. now this one's on the list too woods boss yeah i was actually looking into like their brewery like menu itself mm -hmm. online you, yeah. you can check out that check out woods boss brewing check yeah. out their website yeah um i was looking at some of their other like beers on tap at least their flagships and of course they have you know rotators and stuff but their flagships sound pretty damn good so nice. my, it's, that's on the list for when we go yeah. out there woods boss hell yeah uh, Durango, Colorado has Ska Brewing, which has been one of my favorite hey. breweries. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Is that how pack. you get in? <laughs> I, that's gonna be how I get in. <laughs> um, and yeah, like they had uh, Modest Hopperandi, which was a Hopperandus, which is their IPA that I fucking mixed that all together. Uh, I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, um. And they had a tangerine version, which is really good. And um, they had a blonde ale that was super good. Yeah. Nice. The tangerine IPA was fucking good. Um, and it had so many. It was so good. And then I moved out here back to Texas. And they did <laughs> a lot of it. It happens. I found, like, some of it at Specs, like, years ago. And then never again. Like, from them? Yeah. Maybe you should check the distribution. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. So you be like, "Hey, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up a case of that shit for me, please." <laughs> What's the name of the brewery? Scott Scott Brewing. Yeah. So Scott Brewing. Yeah. If you want Vic to do an ad read yeah, for you, I would love to. That's just a sample of the yeah. greatness. We'll negotiate prices the day it comes. Yeah. But that's uh, mm -hmm. can't use that unless we get signed <laughs> some signed stuff here. All right. Just the Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else. Fuck. Yeah. Damn, they got us. Yeah, Scott Brewing Company. Um, don't I go Colorado? They fucking love their ska and so, so do, do I. I. That's it. <laughs> you need to add an echo effect to that. <laughs> and so do I. Don't stop skanking. That's, oh, that's real big fish. That's real big fish. Yeah. I know that one. Yeah. Of my knowledge of Scott, that is one. Hey. Yeah, so Colorado, we're coming for you, baby. At some point. We got a lot of shit to do. We got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> and hopefully all a lot of our schedule clears up in this next couple months. Yeah. You know what? That's actually, like, something good to fucking bring up. Because, like, goddamn, dude. I didn't realize how much shit I had to do <laughs> until I started writing it down. <laughs> and it's like... So it's always apparent once you start putting <laughs> shit down on paper and you're like, fuck. Like, how, am I, how am I gonna do this in a, half a year? <laughs> Even then, the next three months. Did you know? I don't have a problem talking about it. We already figured it out. It's already been figured out. Okay. But don't judge me on this. I'm gonna judge you. Okay, we're gonna do Cynthia too. Okay, well, I'm gonna judge with the both of you. Oh, okay. I was like, I want equal yeah. rights okay. here. No, that's equal. <laughs> I want equal judgment yeah, opportunities. Yeah, no, definitely. So, this was like a few weeks ago, right? And it's already been taken care of. But I had the silliest of thoughts, where I, it sounds silly, right? Yeah. But then you realize how important it is, because we're coming up on the big day, right? Yeah. No, definitely, it's coming up. It's coming up sooner, pretty it's fucking up. soon, right? It's there. Uh. <laughs> fucking. So I, I just randomly it was like we were just chilling, and then like I just 
go up to her and I go, hey, I have a stupid question. She goes, what? And I go, <laughs> we're, is it me that's supposed to buy new rings for the whole thing? And then she's like, actually, I don't know. She goes, I think so, right? She goes, you know, th- those are things you never consider. You know, having not been in the situation before. Yeah. Like, because I did the engagement ring, right? Yeah. And I, have, I have an engagement ring. Mm-hmm. Just because I was like, fuck it, we're in solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> but then she was, I was like, but we need, like, wedding bands, right? I'm like, that's yeah. that's the concept, right? You need wedding bands for the, yeah. for the ceremony, right? And then she's like, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And I go, pretty sure I have to buy that, right? <laughs> but that's nothing... I'm just throwing out that. I don't think that's been on any of our lists of the shit that we were supposed to take care of. Yeah. I don't think that was on any of our lists. So collectively, we all fucked up, I feel. Because yeah. you hadn't reminded me. Her sister hadn't reminded no, us. Yeah, that, that was... Uh... So it was one of those things where I'm like, we're getting this close. And I go, wait, we need wedding bands. <laughs> right? Like... There's, because I like, I'm pretty sure it's not the concept. We're like, hey, give me that ring back really quick. Yeah. Like, hey, and I do. Time to, <laughs> you sm- know, time to smelt down this war hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, shit, you don't normally think about, right? Yeah. And that came up where I was like, oh yeah, we need to do that. Yeah. So I, I already took care of it. We we figured it out together. Because I was like, well, let's just let's plan this shit out. And we did. And we mm-hmm. got to take. Care. Oh, yeah, definitely. you're gonna look great. Hell yeah. No, there's a lot of details to the wedding that I'm super excited about. And that's that's actually funny because, like, during, like, the list of when we think of all the shit that we need to do, like, you're always going to forget something. Oh, for real. Like, there's yeah. no, there's no, even if you, like, sometimes, like, even if you hire somebody that's, like, a professional, like, there's going to be one thing that's going to be, like, shit. Yeah, fuck. And at least, like, I feel like we're catching a lot of it. I yeah, feel like right. We're, we're, we're still in, like, yeah. the... We're in the the yellow. We're yeah, not. We're, we're in not the in, yellow. Well, that's exactly Because green right. was like yeah. last month, leading up mm-hmm. to like everything before. Yeah. I was like, we'll get everything. Yeah, we were green on everything. Yeah. Now we're in like the yellow. Where it's like, okay, we need to make sure we got. We're not in red yet. Where it's like, yo, yeah. we need to figure yeah. shit no. out now. <laughs> it's funny because like last night when I woke up, that's on. That's a weird sentence to say. Um, <laughs> I didn't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I woke up and I was like man we should really meet up like even if it's just to go over for formalities you know like hey for real we need to have like (laughs) not pub crew meeting but in a pub with With the the crew crew. (laughs) but for wedding (laughs) yeah and a meeting but not business yeah but we'll talk about business (laughs) like the back part of a mullet (laughs) (laughs) I'm telling you, Vic, <laughs> mullet. I could not pull that off, man. You don't know that. I could not pull that. <laughs> Let us know down below if you think Vic can pull off a mullet. By the time you see this, I'll probably already have a different... <laughs> he would have already come to a decision. Yeah. But the people could still speak. We can get you the Joe Dirt special. Let's get you a mullet wig. You know what? I'd actually be down for that because that's how it would look as a fat guy with a mullet. So I just want you to take a look at that. And tell me that you think I'd look good with a mullet. Did you Google fat guy with a mullet? Yes. Because <laughs> I want you to know this is what a fat guy with a mullet looks like. Uh, guys, I'm not going to put these up because that's that's bullying. Yeah, so that's bullying. I'm not going to put that up. So you can look it up. To be fair, the one I was laughing really hard at was a cartoon. It, it was a cartoon. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at like a real person. The one that really struck my nerve was yeah. the fucking... Cartoon. Yeah, that cartoon was uh, exaggerated, but it was hilarious. It was super funny. So you look at that and tell me there's a god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that Aqua Teen in there. <laughs> I loved it. Oh god, I loved it so much. That's great. Yeah. You caught me off guard with that shit. All right, you can't get one of those big. <laughs> It's good beer to be. You can't be doing that with good beer. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're lucky that we've caught in most of the things for the wedding. That we're like, what about this? What about this? The fact that we've only had like two. What about this? As far as I've known, <laughs> like 
Nah, for real. In, in the past few months, like we're like, oh, okay, that's right on track. We thought of everything. We made a plan. We're doing all right. I think we're doing all yeah. right. There's like a few things that we need to talk about. Talk about. And then we're just smooth sailing from there. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're doing all right. Mm-hmm. Yes, we should definitely plan some shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to listen to a, a whole wedding episode of Puff Crew, too bad. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'd be super fun. Maybe to do like a post more. <laughs> I'd be like, so yeah, so like this shit, <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> Getting right. this shit done was fucked up. All, everything else? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Seven out of ten would poop here again. Oh man! Speaking of pooping again, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't have. Oh, I, I was like, for that. go on. No, um, my bowel movements have been regular, so I'm just pretty happy about that. <laughs> hey, to good health. Hey, to, you, to good health. To man. good health. So a healthy colon. Yeah. Cheers. A big part of that is a healthy breakfast now. <laughs> Just to start your day right. Yeah. You know what this would go great with? Bacon. For real. <laughs> Cor- well, I'm biased. Bacon, I feel, will go with just about anything. Yeah, you're right. I'd have a side of bacon just on principle with We've my had, side salad. I'd have a <laughs> side of bacon with a bacon beer from Blazing Tree. Yeah. I'd, I'd have a side of bacon with my BLT that also came with my Baconator Deluxe. I'd have the side of bacon on principle. <sighs> Why? It's bacon. Yeah. You know what I would usually get from Duncan? Or I guess I say what I usually get from Duncan. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> uh, what would I? What I do usually? They have that snacking bacon. What? They have snacking bacon. I mean, I need to try that. Cause it's legit. It's well, it's their like I think they call it sweet black pepper uh, bacon. Yeah, and it's just like a little bag of it. It's a little bag, and it's snack bacon. They call it snacking bacon. What? It's just a little fucking bag Fuck. where they put the hash brown in, but instead yeah. of that, it's just bacon. I always get that. It's like three bucks. It's a decent amount of bacon too. I get that with my my sandwich. I get bacon with my bacon sandwich, <laughs> but I got snack and bacon. What the fuck? And I just I just chew on it. I mean, I got that shit. I, that's that's to start my. I day. need to start looking at start people. my day. Fucking killing myself, clog, clogging my artery. Yeah, I need to start looking at people's menu. <laughs> when I found, I didn't think it was legit yeah. until I saw it, and I'm like, what? And then every the day I discovered that, I'm like, I am not not gonna get snack and bacon. <laughs> Where was this again? Duncan. Fucking Duncan. Fucking that's one of the few Duncan. places that's like open when I go to lunch at three in the four fucking morning. You should hit up Duncan, bro. Yeah. Dude, and now I'm just getting bacon and coffee. Their Ooh. croissant sandwiches are delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And they this get a set of sponsored. Bacon. This isn't sponsored. We're, not, we're talking about breakfast to be specific. Uh, some actually. of your shit sucks too. See, we have to even it out. Yeah, you know what? I'll be we get the, the ironic part about all this the is right. Fucking donuts, bro. Exactly. They're fucking See, donuts. You know, you trashed here for a place called Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I do not go for your donuts. Yeah, it makes me want to go nuts when because I fucking get a donut from there. They are usually disappointing. Yeah, but and everything else, everything else. Yeah, is great. the sandwiches are usually Kalashis? fucking the claw. Yeah, dude, like that shit. The warm food's usually pretty good. I I haven't had any issues with that. The snack and bacon, that's a yeah, genius move. Yeah. You got me on that. <laughs> you got me. You <laughs> got me on that. And to be fair, I actually like Duncan the coffee too. Yeah, their, their coffee's their pretty, cold brews are pretty yeah, solid. Yeah, cold brew. Yeah, that's what I usually brew, get yeah. is their They have I think they have a nitro, right? Yeah, and I actually don't know, but I I always feel very like oh type of deal cuz they're always last me, did you want cold foam on that? And I was like, "Well, no, it's fine. Like, I don't like people doing extra work. And they're always like, All right, I don't care. <laughs> you know? And they do it. For real. But, like, I wouldn't give a fuck if they gave me cold food or not. I came here for the coffee. <laughs> That's how I feel, too, where I'm like, I'm not going to do the yeah. cold foam. But if you put it, great. I yeah. really, I, 
could not give a shit less. I just yeah. wanted the cold brew coffee. Yeah, it, In fact, I you know what? No, I specifically remember asking no cold foam because you fill up that gap yeah. with the coffee, and I'm like, yeah. I need yeah. that gap was significant to me. I needed that. <laughs> I need more coffee yeah. to fill that cup. Yeah, no you, foam. Usually, I'm like, yeah, just like. Put a, like a pump of caramel in there. Caramel. caramel. Yeah. Yeah. Do whatever. But just like, oh, I'm okay. Like, I'm, uh, I don't really need <laughs> so much flavor in my in my food. And then they just ask, do you need espresso in here? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how my day's going to go. <laughs> Can I get a side of it? <laughs> if I need to add it, I'll put yeah. it myself. <laughs> like, I, don't need, I need to know where my day's going first. Because there's, bro, I, <laughs> This is going to sound funny. So the day, this was last year, right? When Witch Queen came out mm-hmm. for Destiny 2. Um, I took like, well, I think my schedule worked out in a way where I ended up with like a week off. Nice. I only had to request like three days. Yeah. Which I was going to do. Dude, that's fucking sick. I, I'm one of those guys that requests yeah. a fucking, I request days off for a new game release. Yeah. It's one that I play a lot though. So fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, Dude. Street Fighter Veda, I could do it. The fucking, I'm trying to get Street Fighter Veda, and then even then, when Street Fighter comes out, I'm That's probably gonna weekend. ask for that. I know. Get it up. Call in well, sick. I only. You need, want me to hit you with my car? I only need. Hold on, we're recording. I only need. <laughs> what's today? Wednesday. I can probably get Saturday off, and I'll have Saturday and Sunday, and then I think it stops Monday. But I have Sunday Monday off, so I only need the one day off. True. Because I'll get out. 745 on that Saturday and they just play Street Fighter. And just Fighter. play the beta, bro. Yeah. And even then when you should do out, it. Yeah, anyways. I think Sorry. it'd be great. Yeah. Wait, hold on, it's a great idea. Yeah. But we'll come back to that. It's a great yeah. idea, actually. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about I, disabilities and shit dude, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah, so like I requested like just a few days and it worked out where I ended up like a whole week off. Which is great. Like yeah. a little vacation. And I all I did was play Destiny. <laughs> I remember day one getting into it. I was like, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm prepped. I remember, like, when it was, like, going to go live, I got up earlier than that. Yeah. And got on with, like, you know, some, like, buddies I usually play with, client mates and stuff. We were all online. I'm like, I already ordered Duncan. I'm like, I already told Cynthia, I'm like, it's decided. I'm getting Duncan. Yeah. I want Duncan. So, America runs on it. Exactly. <laughs> it's because she, like, she falls in the Starbucks category. Oh. Uh, but I'm like, man, no, no, no. This is my. This is the working man's. <laughs> exactly. We want Duncan. We're going for Duncan. I want my snack and bacon, you know? So ordered Duncan and then I ordered my cold brew. And then it was like add espresso and I was like, fuck it. I want to be focused. Yeah, zo- zoned in. I'm like, yeah, I want to get through this shit. I want to try and do yeah. as much of the shit that I can today with multiple characters. I was gonna do all my characters. So I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, like, like two shots of espresso. I'm like, yes, let's do this shit. Yeah. I could I had consumed half of it. Within an hour and a half span. And I got the big size. I got like the biggest size they had because I wanted to make sure. Yeah. To be fair, I was also drinking water, but I have my own water bottle. Fucking wired, bro. Bro, let me tell you. (laughs) Let me tell you. Within that hour and a half of me consuming about half of that fucking cup. Yeah. The goblet that I had ordered. (laughs) I had been drinking water too because I have my own water bottle, right? So I've been drinking water too because I'm. Not stupid. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, at some point when we were playing, I felt like I could hear my heart beating. Because <laughs> of how fucking, like, I don't know if it was, I was that focused or my heart was beating that bad. I felt like we're like, and I'm like, it's like a whole Doom oh, fucking playlist going off in your heart, yeah. and you're like, Fucking yeah, rip and tear comes yeah. on. The only thing they fear is you. And I'm like, start the next mission. <laughs> I legit had to tell like the people I was playing with because like we teamed yeah. up. Uh, we'd be in orbit, like waiting to load into the next one. I'd be like, yo, we need to start this shit now. They're like, why? I'm like, it's kicking in, guys. I feel like I have to new metal jump on the stage here. <laughs> and then, like we start, and I'm legit just like, I take off. I'm just like, I'm running, fucking running and gunning, just like. Okay, fucking go. I'm not dying. They're like, right. What the fuck? Like, I got to ride the lightning here, kids. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I got no other way to fight this. Oh, I just got to kind of go with it. That's great. That is great. So let me tell you, when it comes to gaming. Yeah. 
I think one shot of espresso. <laughs> no, no, yeah, definitely. I went with the double. No, I Wait, don't was it, think. Was it the cold brew and the shot of espresso? Oh, okay, see, that's that's where you like have to fucking take it easy. Take it easy. Because I normally get the cold brew, and yeah. then I was like, add espresso, yeah. and I'm like, fuck yeah, double shot. I I I'd rather get iced coffee and espresso than a cold brew and espresso. In my mind, I don't think I I know that now. Yeah. <laughs> I know that now, right? Hindsight, hindsight that's, is 2020. 20. That's where I should have gone. Hindsight if I is to. always 2020. 20. <laughs> Sorry. That's where I should have gone with it. But I was like, I usually get cold brew. And I was like, oh, yeah, fucking espresso, that bitch. I don't think I needed the espresso. No. <laughs> Maybe one, if I really wanted to feel crazy. Yeah. Two was, oh, my God. Yeah. I was so wired. I. It was crazy. It was one of the crazier experiences <laughs> within a year <laughs> where I was yeah. like, I don't feel like I'm dying, <laughs> but I feel like I'm ascending. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost felt like Fry. <laughs> where I'm yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. perceiving everything going on in the game. <laughs> and immediately the next day was like, I can't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a normal, a normal uh, medium sized coffee, please. Thank you. <laughs> we'll wean off of it a little bit. Yeah. Because I did not need oh, that I much. I get you. That shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, you live and learn, right? <laughs> so fun fact, kids, you don't need that much unless yeah. you do that. Oh, I think we talked about this because then it reminds me. I've always been wanting to try. I can't remember if we talked about this on the show. And if we did, I'm sorry. Uh, Pedro Pascal's uh, coffee order. We did talk about it. Yeah. So it brings me back to that where... Yeah. I always think about his coffee order yeah. and it's legit. Like what was it? Six or eight cup, eight yeah. shots and of espresso was, with yeah. ice. Yeah. Cause it was the, the quad shot and then like an additional, some other shit. I can't remember if it was two extra or four extra. Yeah. I'm I think it was, sure it was two. I think it was two extra, but the drink that he got had like espresso or some bullshit like that. So yeah, it was a lot. So he had like six just shots of espresso with mm -hmm. ice in a mm -hmm. cup. And that was his coffee order. And I was like, see, I think about how I handled the cold brew with two shots of espresso. Yeah. And then I wonder, he must just be existing through time and space Dude, that with is that crazy. much espresso. Just yeah. straight espresso. I'm like, he just exists in time and space. <laughs> That's why he's the Mando. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's, that's crazy. And it's funny because <laughs> I didn't know that we were going to be talking about coffee today. Uh, spoiler alert! It is like fucking ten a.m., so it's like the morning episode. For real, um, it's like our one of our earliest fucking recordings. Yeah, it's not bad. And yeah, it's one of the earliest times we've recorded. I just got out of work, and it, it's we're fun. functional today. Yeah, but actually, I just went to Building Six Coffee over there on not Lee Trevino, like right where that fucking first second street is. Um. But anyways, it's in like a whole fucking like um before the Trevino. I was like, should we just look it up? Yeah, no, it, it's the Trevino and something else. Like that's a big street. Um, Rojas, James Watt, I think, I, I think James Watt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense if it's right there. Yeah, and it's um yeah, it's on James Watt. Yeah. And I tried their cold brew, and it was it was pretty good. Like. It's funny to me how no matter where I go, again, I'm not trying, like, I fucking hate this humble brag shit that I fucking Hashtag humble brag. had. We haven't had that in a while, actually. That, that's, that's pretty funny. I know you're due for a humble brag. Yeah. I don't think we haven't humble bragged in but a while. Go I, for it. I just think it's funny that, like, no matter where I go, I was like, hey, can I just have a cold brew, please? And they're like, yeah. Um, You don't want anything on that? And I'm like, no. Nah. And they're like, okay <laughs> you know like it's just like uh i'm sure you don't get that a lot you know <laughs> right but it's just funny because like sometimes i'm like oh i'll do like almond milk oat milk because like uh oat milk's fucking oh yeah no for real like i'll do that but as far as like you don't want to do that like cold foam or like any sweeteners and they're like no i'm okay that's kind of gross <laughs> and they're like Whoa. yeah but it was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, people were really nice, nice there. I'm, we're not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> we're not. But it, I just think it's crazy that, like, 
I didn't know that like coffee was such a big fucking thing. I was like, I oh, like coffee really and is. I like this coffee and this is what I was raised on and this is what I like now. That's why I think it's crazy is like going to get coffee or like talking like about coffee to people where it's like, like my buddy Adrian, like he's one because he, he's into his coffee mm-hmm. and that's great. But like he, like I said, he like takes his with like cream sugar, like extra shit, yeah. which is, I mean, that's fine. And then when he like tells me about it, I'm like, that's great. And then he'll give me some coffee and I'll drink it just like that. Like, yeah, I'll either drink it black or I'll add a little bit of creamer. Yeah. yeah Depending. Yeah. But usually the first sip is I want to gauge it. Like, yeah. how's this coffee taste? Be like, mm-hmm. all right, that'd be all right on its own. Yeah. Or I'll be like, you know what? Today I want to add a little bit of creamer to it. Mm-hmm. And that's usually enough. But then you hear like some of the, like, uh, Another buddy of mine who has like a French press and stuff. Mm-hmm. To be fair, I've had fresh print, uh, uh, French press coffee. Fresh print. Fresh prints. Uh, yeah. Ha ha! Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually pretty good. Uh-huh, like nice. there is a significant difference yeah. in yeah. the way it's like brewed. Yeah. And I I get that. And I'm like, that's great. And I admire it. And then like I hear some of these people talk about like, they get up and they have to do all this shit for it. I'm like. No, I'm, yeah. I just want my coffee in the morning. <laughs> For real. Curate K-Cup, one fucking cup, bang. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. You you sort of, you're as, you're as involved with it as you want to be. Yeah, and if I just, just want a, black, a yeah. dark coffee mm-hmm. with a little bit of flavor, but bam, done. Yeah. This is going to get me through the day. Yeah, like for me, like, I would, I would take the time with like the cold brew shit just like mm. leave it fucking there like for a whole day and a half or whatever i legit been looking into a yeah. cold brewer like yeah. a, it's just, you're just steeping it as yeah, well yeah, like yeah. you brew it in mm-hmm. there and then you just steep it and then you yeah. put it in the fridge yeah exactly i've been looking into one of those because yeah. that actually would be dope as fuck because yeah. actually like you, you know the benefits to cold brewing right no so the reason why i like cold brew is like i'll take my coffee regular sometimes right like yeah. i'll make it like any other cup of coffee but and the thing is the uh, great people have with it sometimes is when you make coffee they're like oh it upsets my stomach or i get like acidic right like acid reflux it's because of the acids in coffee when it's mm-hmm. brewed like that okay. i think because i read into it like it's the way it like the part of the process when it gets agitated yeah that's what happens is it releases oh, those acids okay when you cold brew it it's a completely different yeah. process mm-hmm. And it actually doesn't release nearly as much acids. So that's why doing cold brew, it's one, a little bit stronger. But two, it doesn't release as much, so it's easier on the stomach. Mm-hmm. So it, it won't upset you nearly as much, but you still get all the benefits. That's actually why I like cold brew. I don't know that's why I like cold brew. I like cold yeah. brew because like, I've noticed it does sit better with me, and yeah. that's usually why I'm like, That's crazy. Oh, I never even why. thought about that. I'm it's all about the pro- it. See, yeah. fucking, there's yeah, reasons that's why. so wild. That's so it's all crazy. part of the brewing process. However, like beer. Yeah. It's all it's part of like the beer. brewing process. Yeah. However, it's made. That's why oh, it's going to change man. it and make it or break it. You know, coffee yeah. has the same concept where it's like, you know, depending on how it was brewed, mm-hmm. it's going to be different. Like a French press to whatever, like that one where it's like a little pot and everything. Oh, yeah. I forgot what that so, one's and called. And also like the whole like, um, I fucking, I don't know, there's so many fucking ways like the the, the hot sand type deal. yeah oh that's like, another fucking yeah. way too and that's yeah. crazy yeah and like that's i haven't so had cool. it that way but I've, yeah. i would be down to try yeah. if i could find oh, somewhere definitely. that does it like that i yeah, would love yeah. to try it yeah yeah like i that's one of my goals too is I'm part of pub crew <laughs> <laughs> besides the trying all the beers i would love to try the different ways of coffee yeah. and shit because mm-hmm. that'd be great like I, I love that enough too to where it's like i would love to try these i've yet to try that but i've seen it and it looks yeah. good but usually, like, that's why cold brews preferred amongst people is because it's yeah. easier on the stomach. Oh, that's crazy. That's cool, yeah. though. That's awesome. That's also why I want to yeah. find, like, yeah. I want to get, like, a cold brew maker, a steeper. I don't know. It's not Yeah, like a steeper. It's like a steeper. Yeah. It's that's, more like that's what I was it. thinking. Yeah. It's more like you're steeping it at that point, and it has to sit a for, A cold like, brewer? <laughs> cold brewer. No, I would just get a heartless person that just brews stuff and be like, what do you want? <laughs> you're so cold. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Hey, what was that? That's my cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, welcome to 
pumpkin where you <laughs> come for all the funny stuff. Uh huh. A little bit of education, a little bit of funniness. Yeah. You know, that's what you come yeah, here no, for. Yeah, no, that's that's really that's really cool. But yeah, I mean, that's what I would want mm-hmm. one. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I don't know. I, I I think it's funny how like coffee was like such a a, a universal moment in history and time where you're just like, oh, we're brewing this fucking coffee bean thing because mm-hmm. we didn't know what to do with it for hundreds of years nope. and then we just decided to brew it one day because we had all this time to do it and, and it people like, caused a whole fucking revolution <laughs> have you tried this shit yeah have you tried this shit <laughs> and like i don't know if you've ever seen like i think fucking food theory did like a thing on it about how much coffee like affected the world and what the significance of like coffee shops had and everything oh i i think i remember that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but like all of that if you guys haven't seen it uh it, it's just basically how um before you know like the world ran on alcohol because <laughs> that was the easiest way to yeah. like i mean so before like the world did just run alcohol yeah because i mean at for the longest time that's all that was made and that's was that, that was the easiest way to filter water that was not drinkable into drinkable water you just brew it yeah and you can make ale mm-hmm. they usually make ale wines depending on where you part you were in the world you'd have your alcohol of choice yeah and that's was was predominantly made until you know regions started mixing and mingling and then like yeah. oh we could do that too we can make this oh that's crazy yeah and then once coffee became a thing, it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, that was top shelf, right? Yeah, now, right? this is making me feel all fine and dandy. <laughs> why, why did we give it 30s radio personality? Because in my mind, I'll tell you why, Vic, in my mind at least, because I immediately associated with prohibition. Oh, and it was like, oh, okay. we can't have fucking, we can't have fucking alcohol. <laughs> or we can have all this fucking coffee, let me tell you. <laughs> We can have all the caffeine we want. We let it say it's perfectly legal. It's fine. Can't have any alcohol, but I can have all the caffeine. Ah, it's fucking great. You try this. I cocaine, but we can't have cocaine. That's right, Reggie. We can have some cocaine. <laughs> Are you a cop? <laughs> oh, man, that's great. But yeah, like, so they went into all that shit. And it, it's super crazy to me how, like, it really did just cause, like, a change in like the whole world as a whole you know yeah because now everybody's all fucking wired on caffeine instead of being all fucking drunk from alcohol and now welcome to the 2020s where everyone is wired <laughs> and, <laughs> and drunk at the same time <laughs> why it's great because it's great <laughs> it's fucking great why choose one when you can yeah. be everything at the same time why not both why not both and even then, we're adding fucking weed into the mix. That's the fucking know, craziest that's, shit, dude. bro. That's that's the curveball. That's the new yeah, contender but, coming uh, in. Dude. It's becoming more and more legalized, bro. Let me tell you, that's gonna be the new curveball because now we're the way we're yeah. talking right now with caffeine to alcohol. Because I mean, caffeine's a drug too. It's an, addi- it's an addictive. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's just as addictive too. Yeah, but it's legal. Mm-hmm. And alcohol's legal now. Yeah, weeds getting there yeah it's not there yet not but there, we're but we're, we're on the path yeah we're right there let yeah. me tell you uh, shit's infused bro let there's, me tell you there's infused everything it uh, is crazy it is gross uh, can, can, uh, can i can can i go on a rant can i just uh, that's what we're here for How much time do we have? okay i can go on a rant we do you boo-boo. can we uh, can we talk of, as a society about how fucking uncool smoking weed has become and how much we need to stop people stop doing the drugs stop smoking weed you sound like a real hipster right now. <laughs> stop smoking it weed. was cool before you started smoking well, no, it's just that, like it, it, in in the sense of everything becoming legalized and stuff i don't being- know i thought you were gonna stop there in the sense of everything <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that's God. it that's it uh, with everything becoming legalized and and the way stuff is being um, manufactured and also regulated and the way everything is happening, I'm trying to walk on eggshells here. Um, <laughs> first of all, there's so much waste. 
there is so much waste in the cannabis industry that is fucking astounding to me. Uh, when it comes down to whole fucking disposable cartridges and um, the way that everything is sold in like fucking paper bag. Well, I guess paper bag is that bad, but like in like plastic tubes for your fucking uh, disposable cards and shit like that. Like, whatever. Um, you're getting fucking weed in like a fucking plastic bag inside of a fucking paper bag like there's so much shit whatever you could have done without one of those yes like there's so much shit like tell them to bring their own jar and they get fucking 10 percent off that's (laughs) what is a fucking walmart bring your own like (laughs) tote bag to shop so you're saving the world bring your own fucking jar so you don't have to be a piece of shit yeah (laughs) <laughs> I'm just charge a mixture for the bag Who yeah did? that's gonna be a surcharge dollar yeah. fifty <laughs> but anyways just the, that fact alone to just the way that you know <laughs> fucking getting weed was before it was fucking legal it is such fucking night and day and yeah it's super more accessible these days but it's just like damn bro like I didn't realize that capitalism would just fucking take it and run and like well this is making money now like fucking yeah (laughs) better fucking run along with it you just said it capitalism (laughs) yeah i know like whoa 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 hold on there's money to be made here put some taxes on that shit (laughs) i need you to tax all that shit right now (laughs) i mean like (laughs) freaking denver alone made a million dollars in taxes Ain't that some shit? In taxes. Not even like, oh, they sold a million dollars worth of weed. No. Taxes. Taxes alone. Yeah. Not the sales. day. Yeah. Not the sales. Yeah. Taxes. Mm -hmm. That should fucking tell you something. (laughs) Yeah. So it's super crazy. Taxes suck. (laughs) (laughs) And the way that, that, like, everything's been handled with, with not only that, but, um, how like how easy it is to just be like this is this is what this strain is called or whatever you know like it's not like it's all weed <laughs> like what the fuck like <laughs> I, I feel like at some point we had the what was known as like strains where something was like dominantly like indica or sativa or whatever i, I need you to know Vic. my knowledge as far as strains is comprised of pineapple the office express. and pineapple <laughs> express northern lights um yeah. that is northern lights cannabis indica yeah <sighs> no it's marijuana <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the extent of my knowledge like he'll get the snickle fritz yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so i would say like 20 10 years ago like there was and I, i'm sure there's still like seeds because there, clo- there's cloning involved and all this shit whatever that's too much yeah but um I feel like with everything like nowadays like w- just to get enough weed out there in the weed shops all across the u.s people are like yeah this is fucking og yoda kush or whatever you know? skywalker <laughs> yeah, this kush. Is, well there's a skywalker og but this there is, like, is and then og yoda yeah this is a attack of the clones this is the jar jar <laughs> oh god you think it's so <laughs> i would misa was a <laughs> oh i love it <laughs> I am so sorry <laughs> to anybody who took offense to that. I'm that so sorry. That was fucking sorry. great. <laughs> I feel like that particular strat would have you after so many talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so was it like another talk? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> We're not even. We're not even. Oh, man. <laughs> so, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so stop smoking weed. <laughs> oh, that, that was the message you were going with? <laughs> Hold on. That's where this was going? <laughs> stop smoking oh, weed fuck. as you take another fucking hit. <laughs> stop smoking weed. <laughs> I 
I think we're good. I don't know. Are we? I think we're good. Yeah, we're at an hour. Thank God. <laughs> I think that's a great fucking note to leave it on, to be honest with you. No, you're right. So if you guys have any problems with <laughs> other people smoking weed, post it down in the comments. If you think that drugs should be outlawed altogether, um, fucking get out. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, What's your favorite strand? <laughs> strand? <laughs> Can you tell uh, I do Redhead the- hair. <laughs> That's my favorite strand. Mm. Oh, man. Woof. <laughs> Let us know down below. <laughs> but uh, we hope you've enjoyed yeah. um, your time here and listening to us ramble on. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess a few closing notes. Uh, do check out Woods Boss Brewing. Um, this was a solid collaboration beer. Uh, Breakfast CDC. Thank you, uh, Brody Havel, once again. That was great. Loved it. Delicious. Um Anything else to add on that, Vic? I did, but then I went to have another drink of a beer, so I'm good. All right. That says it all. Oh. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, join us for the pub crew first of a, a beer laced with weed and caffeine. <laughs> We're going to have it. Yeah, the We're trifecta. We're going to find We're, it. Oh, the trifecta. Oh, the trifecta. Yeah. The trifecta. The tri- Whoa. Well, yeah, that's on. good. Oh, I don't know That's better because it'll fuck you up. I'm sure. It try fuck the. Who do you think we can get to brew this? Hold on. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Thank you all for joining <laughs> us this week. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why I did the fucking. I, I don't know why I love ending it in like. Has so good the times, yeah? <laughs> I don't know why I made Jar Jar Jar. Masses. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> right, it gets really racist Whoa, really it gets fast. Pretty fucking it fast. It gets really racist really fast, and that's why I apologize for earlier. That second one was a fucking shot from the hip. That one, I'm, that <laughs> one, I, 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 I don't know. I was I was Han Solo for a second there. Um, zero days, <laughs> zero minutes, since zero the minutes. Last fucking Star Wars. Jesus. I can, I don't think I can put that. Up. <laughs> I think you can put that last part. <laughs> I don't know, Vic. It's kind of edgy. I don't know. We did talk about anal last time, and that's very true. and all this. We were well, not last time, but like the last last time. Yeah. I don't know. We got pretty fucking. Bad. I think we'll be all right. To be honest with you. Yeah, and I I let people know that was a not safe for work episode. <laughs> I, I saw that. Yeah. Good, good call. Good yeah. call on the disclaimer. It was not. Like, it was none not. of it. Not one minute was safe for work. <laughs> Nope, you wouldn't be able to pause and hope we changed. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> it was all pretty fucking bad. Yeah. Oh, that's good. This is fun. This is fun.